Okay, Brittany, you get that little bit excited. Nobody is saying it. Why are you saying that? Because I want you. No, I'm saying that too, though. I don't care what you can do. I can stand up too. That's what it is. bitch, and you out of the I'm not bitch. You are. If you ain't ready to do a life stand up, stand up for me. You're, you're knocking over drinks, baby. You okay, Brittany? Okay. We're good. I'm, I'm cut you off. You know what? Give me that bottle. <laughs> yes. I'm yeah. cut off. After having an amazing time on the ring, I checked my girl, Brittany. She was like blank stare. So I'm just people how to make sure she's straight because I'm going to always make sure she's straight. With that being said, I'm planning a dinner for Natasha next week. I want to invite y'all. Okay. To well, I would love to meet her. Yes. yes. I'm just so putting a smile on your face. Yes. Hey, Lonnie, can you help plan it? Curse, girl, girl. Just tell me what you want. Her name is Kaylani? No, it's Kaylana. I was like, wait a minute. Kaylani. It's Kaylana. And she said Kaylana. No, no, no. Look, I'm just finding out. I ain't even But that's how much we don't know you yet. We need to get to know you better. I'm sorry. No, but honestly, it was like you just kind of appeared, so we didn't know. Like, I think she's kind of appeared. Well, I don't well, think she not. just appeared. Yeah, I don't no, think she appeared. No, but we didn't know like whose friend you were. I had an interaction with Jackie, Evelyn, and Shawnee. You just came around and we didn't but know why, like why, why from you where. Cause you're because you're hanging with us. Yeah. I don't think nobody needs to know. I don't. I'll oh. have to check in. <laughs> no, we do need to know where you came oh. from. Playana has this huge wall built up around her, it seems. And what I think she's doing it for is she feels inferior to the group or she wants to make her stance known, and she doesn't have to do that. We're just trying to find out a little bit more about you, Playana. I don't really care. I'm gonna get into that. Like, yeah. listen, I'm a grown ass woman. I'm somebody in my own right. Wait, 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 wait. Brooke, let me be clear. No, let, no, no, but no, what it is, no, what it is, 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 is it ah, I'm trying to be clear. If people got their own name, and I'm gonna stand on my own name. Yeah. Exactly. That's just, okay, that's just what it is. So that's what she's talking about. So I'm co-signing that. That's all I'm saying. People stand on their own name on all 10. That's just what it is. Hold on, Brit. Okay, Brittany, you get Brittany Brit, Brit, excited. Brit, 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 Why are you saying that? Because I want to. No, stand up too, though. I don't care what you can do. I can stand up too. That's what it is. bitch, and you out of the I'm not bitch. You are. If you ain't ready to do a life stand up, stand up for me. Brittany is white girl wasted. I'm just like, girl, you spilling tequila. Just giving sloppy drunk. I don't hang around women like that. And I drink champagne. I was you got, you got the, the wrong right one, one though. Brittany brought us to the ice cream ring to have a good time. But where we from, when you stand up, that's just like, OK, what's up? So Brittany is in defense, like, we can't come together and do nothing. I'm over it. You're drunk and you're sloppy. Sloppy? Yeah, you're I, drunk and you're sloppy. sloppy. Yeah, what? I want to talk to what? the surgeon then. Go ahead. You got flappy titties. You need a Hey, guess what? I'm natural. You look like a little I'm boy. Natural. OK, really, this isn't what I signed up for, and this is not what I expected. Last time I've seen most of these ladies was at the dinner with Shawnee, so I haven't had a whole lot of fun coming around Jackie's friends. You're shaped like a little boy, I'm fine. and you're a whore. Get her out. We're getting kicked out. We have to go. When they get like this, police will come and you will be arrested. My state of mind and the way that I react to things is so different because I have terrible anxiety from the death of my daughter. And all I can see is red. I don't know why her and I ended up in that situation. All I know is that I am focused on getting my lick back. Mm, Brittany Renner, she's so problematic. to Jennifer and Brooke over because apparently I have missed a lot while I was out of town. So I want to hear what has been happening. So you guys went ice skating. Y'all all look frozen, oh, by the way. Well, Jen and I were very warm. We didn't get on the oh, ice. We oh, sat okay. back and had drinks, and oh, Cleana came in. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just like, girl, like, where did you come from? Like, who are you friends with? She was kind of getting a little rah-rah. Yeah, and then it went 
list. So then your girl Brittany chimes in. Banging on the table with the bottle in her hand. And when she started banging on the table, it started to trigger me. Right. So I It was not warranted up. at all. But I didn't stand up like in an aggressive way. Then she's like, what the f are you standing up for? Woo, woo, woo. And then the bitch throws a drink in my face. No, she didn't. First of all. And it got on me too, but I'm cool. I know Brooke, and I know Brooke is gonna wanna beat her ass for the rest of her life. I'm a oh, going go. it all. So I invited all the ladies out here to play some basketball and catch up, but clearly I chose the wrong sport because right now it's Brick City across the board. This is really bad. I think we should just stop. Yeah, we should absolutely stop. Hey. hey. Oh, oh God, I am so underdressed. Oh, we no, you dressed. Oh, no. Good. Hey, oh, oh, we cool. Nice to see you smell good. Nice to see you. Oh, thank you. No, oh. Play basketball? Uh, I can play, but this wasn't the memo. So this is the first time we've seen Clay on us since the whole gin situation. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm all ears to hear about this. Well, you know, I had to get the gang back together. It's good to see you guys. So I did meet with Brooke, and um, we had a conversation about you, of course, and about body shaming, you know what I'm saying? Because you made me feel some type of way about the body shaming. She said, you know, Brittany said my body was botched. That's why I said something about her body. But my thing mm, is, she said the tag city can... comments first. But, but, but I'm saying, we no, speak... if we're going to talk about this, so we got to, we have to tell the truth. The story that she's sticking to is, oh, I shamed her body because she shamed mine first. Uh-uh. Sloppy. Yeah, you're drunk and you're sloppy. sloppy. Yeah. Why do you want to talk to the surgeon then? Go ahead, bitch. You got flappy titties. You need a Hey, guess what? I'm natural. So you addressed Brooke when she I'm, said something I'm, about her body being minimal or... I said I didn't hear that part because I did. And it's been pretty much just semantics. Who said it first? Who didn't say it first? For me, it was always... Brooke getting in her face. Why are you saying that? Because I want to. Like, you, you're already wrong. She said she got up because she wanted to talk to you to see if you was OK. Something. Like, were you at the same place? No, but no, I started to actually kind of piss me off a little bit because I'm just mm -hmm. like, like, are, hmm, hello? Like, am, am I? No, no? Not, and that's what I can't deal with. I wish that we can just get on a on a level where we can just be around each other and just be something together so it won't be so divided 24-7. I hope that everybody comes in with a really great attitude, because I know regardless of what kind of day everyone else is having, I'm going to have a good luck. Oh, this is beautiful. Blessing time. All right. Thank you, Father, for this meal. Sanctify it and set it apart for the nourishment of our bodies. In Christ Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 She blessed the food. I'm not, I don't want any of that energy. I didn't bow my head, nothing. I didn't do, I didn't do any oh of that. Oh, my God. So I don't want that energy on my food. I love it. Oh, my God. Girl, you're trying to be petty, and I'm going to count to 10 before this goes left. We're good. We are good. Everybody going on different buses? Yeah. We can't all fit with our luggage. Our luggage. So them guys is on a twin one. You think they rode on another one because Brittany didn't want to ride with me? You know what? I wasn't going to say that. So, how are you feeling? Honestly. Honestly? Yeah. I just feel really awkward. I feel yeah. out of place. I don't know how this is going to flow. I have to say, it made me genuinely a little sad because from what I was hearing, Ayana was kind of the start of the energy that day. Now the energy's thick. I get why you're like, hey, I don't want to be over there. And it's just unfortunate. You think Clayana is getting in her head, making I mean, her feel a certain on, type of way? That's probably what happened. Come on, man. Really like, does see, feel like Clayana has a battery yeah, in her back. Because like... even with me and Brittany getting into it, all of that happened because of Clayana. Yeah, I would never put blame on Clayana because I'm my own person. But how can we move forward if in your world, I body shamed you first? No. Even Clayana was like, she's like, and she said that you're built like a boy. I didn't even hear that. You know, the situation with you and Brooke or whatever. So this is, it, it's like, it's such a mind even for me listening to it because she's like, 
I don't, I would never attack somebody's body and, and body shame them. She was like, she talked about my body being botched, and then I said what I said. You're I drunk and you're sloppy. I'm sloppy? Yeah, you're I'm drunk and you're sloppy. sloppy. Yeah, what? I want to talk to what? a surgeon then. Go ahead, bitch. You got flappy titties. You need a surgeon. I feel like you guys need to talk. Literally, I feel like, oh my God, like, did I say something first? I feel as if there's a big detail that I'm missing here, and maybe I had a little too much to drink that day. All I know is that this mess needs to be cleaned up, and I gotta get to the bottom of it. I think it would be good if you guys had a conversation and then nip it in the bud and then move forward. Right, you know? right. I'm glad you made it. I kind of think I can just no, no, that's not ask. Right. Come on, waitress. Did you, did you want me to pour you some champagne? You're good. Um, I'm okay. Thank you, though. After speaking with Evelyn, I just felt like there were some missing pieces with what happened between me and Brooke. So I wanted to speak with Giselle and Clayana and get to the bottom of everything. Hello. Y'all got a feast here. Is this for me? It is. <laughs> How's it going? Good. What's up? I was in a very foul mood earlier, but I just kind of wanted to come clean about like my feelings about you and this stuff with Brooke. The reality is I have a feeling that I was the one to start the body shaming first. Hearing the saggy boobs comment, it was very upsetting. Like, and it just, I just remembered the saggy boobs part and I didn't think about what took place right before that. I have to take accountability for my behavior and um, I was lit and I was quick to try to pick her apart physically because that is how I in the past have critiqued yeah. myself. And especially since having a baby and all that. You know, it's like, oh. No, go, you all right. I mean, it's just, I have really struggled with feeling comfortable in my body since my baby. So it's easy to pick other people apart. In my heart, I, I would like to have a conversation with Brooke. I gotta make this right. Because I actually think it's an important conversation to have about like women and their bodies. This is a big step for Brittany. I'm proud that she's taking responsibility for the incident with Brooke. And because it was kind of awkward at the cooking class, and I'm just happy Brittany is on and up to her because I'm tired of being in the middle of everybody boo. said you wanted to talk to me. I sure did. And I wanted to start with what happened at the skating rink. I was wrong. I was, I was out of pocket. And I'm typically not someone who's a sloppy drunk. But that day, I absolutely was. And there's really no defending the behavior, to be honest with you. And I appreciate that. I do. I do, because it's been very difficult for me, and it took me to a place that I don't want to be in. When we were at the skating rink, you and Jen were sitting down, and at some point you were like, bitches are already on thin ice. Listen, let me tell you, I just decided that bitches is on thin ice. And I was kind of like, Who's on thin ice? It had nothing to do with you, but everything to do with Vanessa. I stand on what I stand on. I believe in what I believe in. And when I'm wrong, I have no problem admitting I'm wrong. I can understand anyone's point of view, even if I don't agree, and, and respect them and not invalidate their feelings. Yes, I've learned a lot about myself, and I'm proud of myself. And yes, there was a conversation I had with my mom pertaining my, my child's father and some issues with the pickup. Nerves were just struck with me. I was out of line. I was extremely disrespectful. And I was at fault. I appreciate you being an adult and a woman and, you know, recognizing that you did open that. I know it's not easy being a single parent. 
So I would never want to tear another mother down, another woman down. I'm just really not in a place that I want to just... I've, I've been through enough. There's really nothing like to say other than I was wrong. I would never want to add anything stressful to your life. I just don't. I appreciate that. Brittany definitely came in here with her big girl panties on, and I'm really surprised. This is making me look at her through a different set of eyes. Jackie is throwing me a birthday pool party tonight. So I would like to invite you as a peace offering. Oh, I'd be honored to celebrate you. Okay. <laughs> Go practice twerking in the mirror before you come. <laughs> Bye.